What is going on guys, it is Darren here and welcome to a brand new video. This is going to be slightly different than normal, although it will be a running thing hopefully, but it's going to be a bit different to usual. Um, normally I do the swag bag videos and the La Pointe and Bass Child videos and minimal video I did uh, a while back. But this is one for Abyss Design in Second Life and what they do is they make sky boxes and little, little shop fronts that you can obviously used to chill in and set as your home um which is awesome and i'm a vlogger for them um which is great i never thought they'd actually say yeah but it's really cool that they did so i'm going to be doing a review of this this object well i'm actually going to be doing a tutorial and a review tutorial telling you how to set it up basically and how to change some of the some of the textures and obviously I'll give a description of what this is, what it has to offer, and then I'll do a sort of a, sh a show you around sort of sort of thing where I'll give my opinions on stuff. So with the retreat, this is called the retreat um, on the on the marketplace. It's called original the retreat skybox by Abyss Designs with 500 plus animations. Like 500 animations is insanely good. Like. Like, wow, <laughs> most Sims combined don't have 500 plus animations. But this costs 5,995 Lindens, which is not bad, considering the because there's a furnished version and an empty version. And six, just under 6,000 Lindens is not bad if you get two versions, one fully furnished and one... one um, as you can see here, one's empty, one's a Reza, which uh, is the fully furnished version. Um, it's the um, furnished version is 87 prims, which is really low, a low prim count. And the no furniture is 32 prims. It's all 100% mesh and it's a really easy res system. Um, I did quickly try it earlier just to make sure it was. And it's a res forks system, which is one of the easiest ones possible. Um, materials are enabled, um, which allows you to change the um, it allows you to change the materials, which isn't actually advised by Abyss Design, but you can if you really want to get into it. Anyway, let's jump right into this. So I'm going to show you how to sort out the empty version first. So what you do is you find obviously a sandbox or some land that you have, and you just drag it to the floor, quite close to your avatar so that you pop inside of it. I will put my textures in the highest now so you get the full effect. Here we go. So what I found out is that if you just walk a bit, it will jump you inside, <laughs> which is easy. So I'm gonna quickly look around and just show you what this little room has to offer. So starting here, you've got a door, um, which you can't actually open, it's just there for the effect, but that looks really cool. Like, that is a nice door, <laughs> that is, the textures are very nice, as you can see. It's got a sort of shine to it. It's it's very rustic, you could say. Um, it's very tall, so it, that makes it like a very old style house or room. Um, the floor is a very nice texture, as you can see, and it has a nice reflection, like a great reflection there. Actually, that's very nice. It's a dark floor. Um, this is all one. This building is one sort of like. Well, it's it's. 32 prims, but it it's like a one prim sort of thing. So if you right click anywhere, um, it'll be one prim. It sort of acts as one prim, although it's 32. So sorry if that's confusing. Um, obviously you can change the color here, which I said is best not to do. You can texture it yourself if you really want to, but once again, that's not advice either. But that's only for advanced users. Um, so. You've got uh, quite tall skirting boards, which is makes it very um, old-fashioned. The wool is quite a nice colour. It's like a red with dark patches. Um, it's not all one colour, which makes it plasticky if it's all one colour. And we'll we'll slowly move around here. We'll look at the ceiling last. So here you've got some like little curtains. Um, very nice. And obviously, outside. Is basically that's a screen out there. This is a screen. So if I if I show you here, 
somewhere you will see that's the outside but they've designed it so that um you can't see any any white at all so you can't see any like bad textures so it's like looking out into a, a, a dark forest somewhere which is very nice so moving along we have the same again just um mirrored which is very cool so you can peek out there peek out there once again very high textures on there and the curtains moving along we have a fireplace which is very nice like just look at this look how look how nice that is it's going to be very good for photography this whole room um it's like a marbled texture um which is very nice and it's all 3d it's all popping out it's not like flat and we'll look at the actual fire itself and look how nice that looks oh it looks so warm <laughs> but that looks really nice um i like this just the room itself is really nice and obviously that goes up to the ceiling where you've got another texture and now we'll look at the roof so in the corner each four corner well each corner which is four corners you've got um well it's like a obviously it's very old fashioned so it's got quite it's got quite a, a feel to it you know and another thing that i want to show you here is the center of the ceiling look at that that's that's incredible it's um that could be used to hang like a, a lamp not a lamp um a chandelier or another type of light but that looks really nice the texturing is insanely good oh my <laughs> it looks really nice as well i like the old feel very nice so anyway that is that room um it's very simple you just res it in and sort of walk around and it'll push you inside so there's not much else to do here you can place your own furniture if you want to to delete it just right click anywhere in there and delete so what i will do now is i'll put the reza down and this this will res like little box in front of you um which also is very highly textured if we just wait for the textures to res in here there you go even that is very highly textured like wow <laughs> the work that's been put into this i mean it is 5995 lindens They'd expect quite a good amount of work, but they really have pushed the boat out with this one. So when you've got that, if you don't see this menu, we'd pretend we don't see it, just click on the box and it will pop up here and then just click res. And it should just pop you inside. So what you can do here is uh, it'll pop up menu again. You've got help and um, de-res will completely delete everything, the, the whole structure. Um, store will freeze the structure and store the object which is this and positions rotations um in the object description so i think if this works okay it works so to move it around um so if you want to make it an actual sky box put it in the sky you literally just drag this little box don't drag the structure drag the box only so the, to the position you want, you can drag it left and right, up and down, forward, backwards, wherever you want it, and it will just place it, it will center it on the box, which is awesome. So when you've done that, you can literally just click save, and it will save the building, and then delete the box, and you're set. So as you can see, it is now a fully furnished version, which is very nice, as you can see. So we're going to start by the door again, and I'm just going to slowly go around, as you can see there's a, a chandelier. So I'm going to go around, click in things, see what they do, and you know, it's pretty simple. So I think a lot of things have, like, um, you can just sit on here, it's not actually, I don't think you're actually supposed to. But you can sit on here, I'm, I'm generally not too sure if you're supposed to. You're not. But you can, I'll remove this just for the full effect. Okay, so... This is like a chest of drawers, um, very nice, sorry about that. Uh, here is a light covered up by, obviously, um, a sheet. Here we have a globe, which you can click here, and that opens, and inside you have some alcohol. Like, the amount of effort they put into things, this company, is insane. Like, like wow. <laughs> you can edit this as well. Change the colour. Once again, it's not advised. Never is with the with these sort of things. Um, but you can open and close that. 
and that's really cool. It's like a hidden hidden compartment. You can move this if you really want to, but it's, you don't need to really. Okay, so here we have uh, some paintings, very nice. All old fashioned. More paintings, more paintings. <laughs> Many paintings, let's say. <laughs> very nice. Okay, so here we have a seat. Which surely I can sit in. Maybe I need to be closer. Oh, maybe not. Um, apparently I can't sit on this seat. Oh, it's put me outside now. That's the only problem. I need to find something random to sit on. Um, I'll sit here. Okay, cool. Sorry about that. Okay. So here we have a light, which is covered by a sheet, sort of. So it's like stuff's been chucked around, which is makes it look very a lot more rustic. It's very good. So I'll quickly show you the chandelier. Um, you can't actually turn that on. It's just there for effect. But it looks very nice and fits perfectly with the, um, the roof detailing. Okay, so moving along, we have a big paint in here. Um, very nice. It's like... Well, it's, it's literally a picture of this room, but it's been made, it's been oldified, it's made, it's been made rustic. So here we have a sofa, which you can click and, well, you can sit on basically. Look at that. So this, as I said, is a sofa. Um, it's not actually a sofa inside, it's literally just a sheet, but it's been meshed around the sofa to look like a sofa. So you've got female option and male option and the adjust option and swap option, which is normal on most um, pretty much pretty much all seats and stuff. So female is obviously for female avatars, male is for male avatars, shows the animations. The adjust adjusts the position of your avatar and swap just swaps the position of basically where the people are sitting. Um, so obviously I've got a male avatar, so I'll click male. And we've got four options here, which is awesome. And um, I'm going to go through these four options. So you've got a very laid back version. Sleepy, which is like chill, basically. Got bored, which is also very laid back and contemplating. Which is very nice. Um, I'm not too sure. Apparently there's supposed to be other animations. These are the female ones. Apparently that's the ones that you can do. Awesome. So I'm going to stand up here. Don't think this other side does anything. No, it doesn't. Okay. My bad. So, moving along. We have, once again, another light. And another light. Like, the, the lights are obviously here to display this. In all its glory, basically. Very nice. Okay, the fireplace again. Same. No different got a few items here just a broom a shovel and a pick thingy and um, here we have a mat which seems to be able to do something with which I will sit on so you've got some options here I'm not going to show these ones for obvious reasons <laughs> um, but it's a it's a couple it's a couple um, rug I'm not too sure if there's like um, So there's not single ones here, but it's fine. You can sort of, you can sort of use it as as yourself, but I won't go through these animations because it's only me, unfortunately. Um, but that's very nice. The the quality is very nice. The texture is very nice. The crinkles are very nice. It's all nice, basically. <laughs> so here we've got a sort of, I guess that's a statue, is it, covered up? Oof, you will never know. It's very well hidden, that, but it must be some kind of statue. Here we have another shelf thingy, which you can sit on if you want to. Probably not, but it's it's there if you want to. Um, here we have another chair, which you can sit on. Um, I really do love the details, though, the details of the creases and stuff. So I'll sit on this chair. We've got um, quite a lot of anim animations here. 
Okay, so I'm going to show you this, and then I'll show you these ones. Okay. So this is tensely reserved. Contemplate. Interested. Enjoying, enjoying, yep. Watching and relax. And then I'll go back. I'll we'll see what the actions are. It depends what they are. Okay, fair enough. Got a book. And then to just to add that to your avatar, you just click yes. You move that out of the way, click yes. And it'll res in a nice book for you to read. You may have to adjust that, but that's not hard to do. Just right click and drag it to where you want it to be. Very simple. So let's see what other options we've got. I'll leave that there. Uh, we've got T. Um, just press yes to any options that you get. And it raises in a little tea cup and a plate. Like how cool is that? It's even got tea in it and a, and a finger because it's, yeah. Okay, so we've got papers. Does take some time for that menu to res, but it's it's because it's got to load in the object which is invisible. So you've got a newspaper which is very rockabilly, which is very nice. And we've got cognac. Just click yes to both of those. So you've got a, a nice cigar and some alcohol. Obviously, it goes through all the animations. There we go. Those animations are very nice as well. Very nice. Um, we've got Kane. Which is like, obviously it's a Kane. <laughs> it's as it says. Even that's very highly detailed. And then we've got Pipe. Which is obviously a Pipe. Look at that. That's awesome. I wonder if this is made by the same person who made the... Uh, Wow, it's made by the same person who made the whole room. That's very nice. So that's very cool. So you've got all sorts of other options here. All sorts of other options here. So I'm going to stand up now. Um, here we have a table. Um, I wonder if you can sit on this side of the table. If you really want to, you can sit here. Fair enough. And then here, finally, we have another sofa. I'm not sure it's, if it's the same. It's different. But obviously these options I can't really show on YouTube again. Um, which is a shame. Otherwise I would. Um, but as you can see there are many options. The, overall the texturing is incredible. There are so many. Just the textures are really nice. Um, I'll show you what it looks like from the outside. It's literally... A black box with obviously the screen and then inside it's just completely different you wouldn't know where you are you could put it on any sim and be happy but yeah that pretty much sums it up for this video i do hope you have enjoyed i hope this video has helped you understand how to place the object well the room and how to actually use the animations and stuff anyway thank you so much guys for watching i hope you've enjoyed and i will see you in the next one